FC playoffs. Green Bay Packers against the New Orleans Saints. For those of you who don't know, I placed the Packers in every game. The computer plays for every other team. Last game was seen. Buffalo Bills beat the San Diego Chargers 51 to nothing. It was a blowout. Computer versus computer. The Bills just did everything right there. Chargers get the ball. Throwing. Chargers had the ball down by their end zone. They threw an interception right in the end zone. Buffalo scores a touchdown. The Chargers had the ball, fumbled it. Buffalo picked it up, touchdown. It's like Buffalo just did everything right in that game. Hopefully, I can do the same in my game against the Saints. Take a look at the standings. They beat the Saints 37-7 when I played in the regular season. I had the division championship with a 12-2-2 record. <laughs> the Saints had a wild card It's about 8-7-1. So, statistically I'm better than the Saints, but you can't always go by that. One time in the season, I had a 5-1 record. I was playing against the Bears, who had a 1-5 record, and we tied. Heard McAfee. You see the Saints play in round one against... Who was it? I heard the Redskins beat them 14-10. Forgot to mention that when I showed the brackets. Cool. Last game we've seen snow, this game we've seen rain. And I... We should be in Green Bay, but for some reason they're wearing the color jerseys, and we got my team wearing the white jerseys. I do not understand that one. You can't really determine, tell, you can't really tell for sure who's the home team. You see the Saints name in the end zone there. Bryce Paul. But down to the other end of the field, that end zone's got Packers written in it, so. I don't want no way to know who stadium is. Far runs it himself. We really had no, nobody to throw it to. It's kind of like a trick move that the computer can't really predict because they got all my. Re I picked a pass in place so that, of course, the computer expects you to pass. Every one of my players is covered, so I just take off running. This is what I love to see in the technical games, rain and snow. I don't like to see it in real life. If I had like a big patio or deck with, or maybe even like a porch, it wouldn't be too bad sitting outside in the rain, but... Anytime I'm outside in the rain, I'm getting wet. Reggie White went after the quarterback. He had to turn around and go all the way after the running back because the other 11 players failed. That's the second time. Again. 
that's the, you know, of this game and my hockey game, NHL 99. It seemed to be the best defense in both games. You know, like in my hockey game, I rarely let the computer get a shot against me. I didn't know who was covered on the way down field. I'll probably get like stabbed here, probably won't get more than a couple yards. <laughs> Did I call that or see it's a one yard game but look at down at the bottom. Second down and eight yards. We're going to see that even worse in Technical Bowl 3 Final Edition, a lot of kind of mistakes like that. But see, I think what happens is I get like a yard and a half, and they count it as a one-yard gain, but when they count the yards that I got left to go, I think they count it as I got eight yards, so... It's like they don't count that half yard, they kind of cut it off. season. I don't think I'm going to beat Dallas. So that's probably where I'll get the NFC Championship if I lose to Dallas. They are really tough. I can't remember if I played Dallas or not this season. Yes, I did. And they beat me 28-21. That was cheating. I was right on top of the quarterback. I didn't want to cheat. Oh, there's no way he threw Reggie White off of him. That was just dirty. I mean, who could pick up like two, three hundred pounds and just throw it? Let's go. 
nice to have a my quarterback is the best running back I have on the team. And right there's my proof. Ed West. Hope you enjoy sitting on the bench because there is no excuse for missing that one. Sterling Sharp's coming in. Let's check the running backs. Thompson's in good condition. Stevens is in good, good condition. We have 44 and 38. Actually, we're going to put Wilson in. See, I wonder why Edgar Bennett's not that good. Edgar Bennett's the only running back I ever remember with the Packers out of all these running backs in all these games I've seen. I don't remember Wilson, Thompson, or Stevens. Edgar Bennett's the name I always remember as a running back. Yet, according to his statistics, he's not a very good one in this game. Jackie Harris is in bad condition. Sanjay Beach in. I'm probably going to be punting. Look at that. It's like my quarterback just freezes. Every single time I do that screen pass, this game is just too predictable. Coward that was like barely inside. So, yeah, the Saints most likely going to make a comeback here. short time of a decision. He had less than a split second. Oh. Tried to stop the clock. Guess it doesn't matter. Even if I hadn't run out of bounds, it would have attacked me within 5 or 10 yards, and I would have gotten even more mad at it, so... So according to the statistics, they're out playing me, but I'm up 14 to 7. That shows how good my defense is. Look at their passing is 100%. I think it was the first time I've seen that all season. What a rushing Brett Favre of two attempts, 18 yards. My quarterback is my best rusher. See, notice how they fumble at the end of the first half to make it look like they're not always cheating to go against me, making it look like something goes in my favor. But that doesn't really help when it's time's expiring on the clock, so... I mean, good try, though, computer. Now, here comes an interception. Left down, 
So my quarterback can go run back before they have the time to blitz me, and yet it freezes all the time. I can't understand why my quarterback just sits there. Okay, I'm holding the ball over the end zone line. Right there is a touchdown. Now I place the ball behind the end zone. seen a single sack by Reggie yet this game. He's got plenty of tackles though. Gotta do all the work on the defense. So nobody else knows what they're doing. Cool. Johnny Hound. You know what? You're probably gonna blitz me again here. I'm holding back right now. I'm pressing the left. catch me, but kind of hard now. The new Atari system I got. I can't remember if I mentioned it in this video or not, but anyways, I mentioned it in either the last video or this video. Anyways, I got this new. It's called the Flash 4 Atari. Well, it's the Flash 4. It looks just like the Atari 2600. We're playing a bunch of them. It comes with 75 Atari games programmed into it, so I'm going to be playing a bunch of them after the after I finish the football and hockey season. The weird thing about it is it comes with wireless controllers, no batteries included. So, luckily, you can plug in your old Atari controller into it, and I just happen to have one. Exactly what game. I hope it has classic games like Pac Man and. I looked at the back of the box, it's got pictures of most of the games. Actually, I'm going to take a closer look at it tonight. I'll be able to give a more detailed description of my next video tomorrow. But one of the games I noticed on there is Pong. 
Pong is the very first video game that ever reached mainstream. That game was designed by some guy at, I think it was before, I think he worked for Atari, but I don't think Atari made, well that was before Atari made video games. I could be mistaken though. But anyways, he was working in, this guy was working in the office, he was bored. So he created this game, Pong. Where it's basically like ping pong, you're just bouncing the ball back and forth. You gotta remember, this is the Atari, so the graphics are... You're not gonna see any graphics like Nintendo, Super Nintendo or anything, but... Anyways, this guy invented this game on the computer just so him and his friends in the office would have something to do and they're bored. It turned out to become very popular. Other people were playing it in other offices and you know, making home consoles of it and arcade games of it and all that good stuff. I'll do more research on it so I can give a... I'm going to give like a full description when I actually play the game. I might have some of the information wrong. I don't remember exactly the whole story, but... I'm going to do research on all these games. I should, wish I would have done it with all the games I played. Researched every single game. It's like we have done a better... You know, tell like all about the background and stuff about it. seen them and seen them for the first time you are going to either laugh or cry. I really hope they got the popular games in there. I'd be really disappointed if it turned out they had like all the worst games in there that nobody likes playing. Here comes a blitz. Ready light. me here because I did the screen pass. Holding left. I forgot to do the 
play. I forgot how much diving play you can do, but... I'm not sure how to do it. I think you press the L button or R button, like if you're like... Let's say it's first and one, you take off running. It might be automatic too, maybe they just automatically do it for you. But something tells me it's the R or L button. Last play of the game. And it's going to be a blitz. This game, 42 7, I win. Yards. Look at that, I had more rushing yards than them. Six attempts for 23 yards. And 24 of those 23 yards were Brett Favre. I know it sounds like it doesn't make sense, but that's because I lost yards from some of my other running backs who failed. They're, they had 15 attempts for like 18 yards, so they had over double the attempts that I had. And less still get less yards. Had more passing yards than 200 to 183. They had more first downs than me, 96, but that's because a lot of my what would be first downs were touchdowns, and they don't count those as first downs, although they should. Because if it's like first and goal, it's a five yard line, that means the goal will so basically that's your first down is the touchdown. Anyway, Brett Favre had four rushing attempts for 24 yards, Muster had. Five rushing attempts for 48 yards. Favre had 83% completion for 200 yards. Wilson had 70%, 183 yards. No interceptions. Robert Brooks, four catches for 85 yards. Brenner had three completions for 70 yards. So, I hope you enjoyed the game. Quite as big as a blowout as the Buffalo game, but it's still a pretty good blowout there. Anyways, in the next game, we're going to see tomorrow, we're going to see the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Oilers. The AFC, and the game after that is going to be the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. And after each round, so after I finish round two, I'm going to jump back into doing some hockey games. And then I'll do the AFC Championship, NFC Championship, and some more hockey games. So. It'll be kind of like a break in between each round, like round two here, then the end of the AFC, we'll see some hockey, then we'll see the Super Bowl, we'll see some hockey games, we'll see the Pro Bowl. And we also have the All-Star game coming up in the NHL 99, which will probably actually be coming up right after the next two football games. It's actually going to be coming up tomorrow because on the hockey schedule I got the Avalanche, the Blackhawks, and I got the All-Star game. So. But before we move into the hockey, we're going to see two more football games, round two. So, hope you're enjoying the playoffs, and I'll see you in the next video.